Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how to make this gingerbread man. I'll show you how to do this dress in a separate video. You'll need a tanny gingery colour for the gingerbread man. That's the closest I could get. Black for the eyes and the buttons. And I'm using blue for the bow tie. You'll also need scissors, a crochet hook. I use thread for sewing it together and I'm using red cotton for the mouth. I use a darning needle to weave in my ends and a sewing needle to sew it together. I'm starting with the head. I start with a magic loop and work three chain and 14 double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two I start with three chain and work a double crochet into the same place as a chain and then work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'll just weave in my ends and then I'll be back and we'll start on the arms. For the first arm we start with 8 chain and now we join to the head. You can join anywhere First you do a double crochet into the next stitch you do a half double crochet and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then a half double crochet and a double crochet. And then for the second arm we work 10 chain. For row 2 we miss the first 2 chain and work 2 half double crochet into the next stitch. Next we work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two 
to half double crochet into the next stitch and then a half double crochet into the, each of the remaining chain for the first arm and then you flip it round and then work a half double crochet across the bottom of the head one in each stitch and then one half double crochet into each of the next three chain two half double crochet into the next chain and then one half double crochet into each of the chain until the last one We work two half double crochet into our last chain. For row two we start with two chain and work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and then work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet 
into each stitch until the last two. And then we work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And fasten off. And that's the arms done. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll do the body. Now for the body, I find the centre stitch and then join four stitches back. So this stitch here I work two chain and then work one half double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. For row two, I start with two chain and then work one half double crochet into each of the eight stitches. For row 3 to 6, we start with 2 chain and we work 1 half double crochet into each stitch and then we work a half double crochet into the top of the 2 chain at the end of the row. So we'll increase 1 stitch over those rows and we finish up with 12 stitches. Just in there in the top of the chain and then two chain and turn and we work the same. One half double crochet in each stitch and a half double crochet into the top of the, the chain. It's just bending out a little bit on each side. So two more rows, the same. Last row, two chain and then one half double crochet over each stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the 
the chain and we'll have 12 stitches, 12 half double crochet plus the, the two chain. And there's the body. For the first leg, we start with two chain and we work a half double crochet into the next four stitches. And then a joined half double crochet over the next two. And that's the start of our leg. For the next row we work two chain, a joined half double crochet over the first two, and then a half double crochet into each stitch to the end and a half double crochet into the top. of the chain. The following row we've got two chain, a half double crochet into each stitch to the last two, and then a joined half double crochet over those two stitches. For the following row, two chain, a joined half double crochet, first two stitches and then one half double crochet into each stitch and a joined half double crochet over the first two chain. The following row we work two chain and we work a half double crochet cluster over all our stitches. And fasten off. And that's our first leg done. I'll just weave in my end. I just find it gets in the way with my bad fingers and I'll be back. For the second leg we join in the stitch after the first leg and work two chain and then work one half double crochet into each stitch and a half double crochet in the top of the two chain. For the next row we work two chain and turn and work one half double crochet into each stitch until we get to the last two stitches and we work a joined half double crochet over those two. For the next row we start with two chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches and then a half double crochet into each stitch and also into the top of the two chain. For the following row we work two chain and turn and work a half double crochet into each stitch 
until the last two and work a joined half double crochet over those two. For the next row we work two chain and then work a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And there's the gingerbread man. I'm now going to work a row of single crochet right around to neaten the edges. So I start with one chain and then work a single crochet into each stitch. Just find a suitable place to put your hook in so it's not doesn't show up too much. And don't pull too tight so that it sits flat. Find a better place for that one. So I'll continue working my single crochet around and then I'll be back. When we've worked our single crochet all the way around, we slip stitch into the first chain and fasten off, and that's the gingerbread man. The eyes and the buttons are worked the same. I'm using my black and I make a magic loop and work one chain and four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. And fasten off. I'll need four of those. For the bow tie I'm using blue today. I make a magic loop. and work three chain, one double crochet, three chain, slip stitch into the circle, work another three chain, a double crochet and three more chain and slip stitch into the circle. Pull the circle tight and I fasten off but I leave quite a long tail because I'm going to sew around the bow tie, just the middle, with my thread. So I'll weave in my endings and I'll make three more circles and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces ready. The first thing I'll do is stitch on a mouth. I'm going to use red um, cotton and I'll do that and I'll be back and then we'll stitch on the eyes. Now there's a mouth. Now the eyes go just above the mouth. I've been putting them about halfway through that circle part. 
just stitching them on there. The bow tie goes in the center about there and I stitch it on with my tail and I stitch over quite a number of times over the center part just to hold it on and I don't stitch around the edges. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now the last thing I do is attach the buttons evenly on the front. Like that. And I'll give it a bit of an iron and I'll show you the finished gingerbread man. There's a gingerbread man finished. If you'd like to make a gingerbread lady, um, the body and head is done the same and I'll show you how to do the dress on a separate video. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.